happy Valentine's Day, boss. I'm a monkey. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I just want to smile to Jenna. <laughs> hey, stop that. Sorry, boss. Just got a bit carried away there. Smile to Jenna! <laughs> Assalamu alaikum everyone! Valentine's Day is upon us! Yay! No, no, no yay. No yay, rather a nay. Like the horses go nay, nay. Will you be my Valentine? No. Valentine's Day, although it's a nice gesture, has a lot of history behind it. It's a lot of this pagan stuff and a lot of this weird this and that and all of this jibber jabber that we don't even understand. Now you may say, hey, let's just jump on the bandwagon. Try to understand these holidays. Try to look at the history. What do they represent? Now if you start doing things just for the sake of it, then that's a slippery slope, my friends. So the simple message of Valentine's Day. Excuse me, please. I would like to rename Valentine's Day to Valentine's Year. And it's not just for your partner. Partner meaning wife or husband. Husband if you're a wife. And wife if you're your husband. Valentine's Day is for everyone. <laughs> Every day should be a day that you show love. Now I know some people can say, oh on this day you pay special attention. But that would mean that the other days you don't give special attention. You give less attention. So you should give more attention and make it Valentine's Year. Copyright that yeah. I don't want, I want to be the first one to, yeah. So everything that your partner has done for you, has come down to just a box of five pound chocolates and two pound rolls that you bought down the market. Is this really the value of love? Now if you're in a haram relationship, use this time now to meet your partner and say look, either make this permanent or we cut it right here. The conclusion is, uh, it should be called Valentine's Year. We don't need a day to tell us how and when to love someone. Love should be emanating from every pore of our body. Come and give me a hug. Come and give me a hug. Assalamu alaikum.